So with Verona Point, the main structure of the level is we'll first have to complete a puzzle, then we'll have to kind of navigate our way through a bit of an obstacle course. And then the last thing we'll have to do is beat one of the first bosses that we have in this game. So I'll show you how to do all that stuff. And then along the way, we'll pick up all four blueprints that are in Verona Point as well. And most of the notes that I see along the way, we'll pick up. Before you head out though, to make your life a lot easier, you'll want to have an oxygen bottle, flippers, and a headlight. And if you can have two or three of them, that would help you out a lot. And you want to bring the zip line tool as well. Okay, so first we're going to make our way along to the first puzzle. So when you get to this crate, you just want to look down and fall down into the water. And you'll see we have a light. And actually, before I forget, let me put this stuff on. Just wait a second and these, uh, these creatures will swim out of your way. You can catch your breath up here. We're looking for four different light bulbs we, that we're going to use to fix a spotlight that's down there. In general, with Verona Point, you want to follow the Gs whenever you see them. That will usually progress you further in the level. So there's our first spotlight part. And there's four in total. And here's our second one. And if you have the flippers, these exploding fish are pretty easy to uh, escape. Okay, then we have our third spotlight part, as well as a note. We're going to double back and then climb up this scaffolding over here. There's a whole bunch of rooms in here, but the last spotlight part is right here. So now we can swim back down to that broken spotlight and repair it. There we go. I'm going to swim down here and you see these guys are blocking the uh, opening there. So we're going to repair this and that'll clear them out of the way. So that's the first puzzle we had to do. Now we're going through a bit of like a kind of an obstacle course. But again, if you get turned around, just follow the G's that are written on the wall. And that will typically take you in the right direction. So you want to watch out for this area. There's a lot of uh, traps with like nails sticking out of them. There's also some, some trip wires too. I'm going to point out where the trip wires are because those are the main ones that are going to hurt you. If you step on the nail things, that's not going to do too much damage to you. Just walk carefully along here. I'm going to jump. And that's our first trip wire right there. So you can just jump right over it. You don't even have to sprint. You can just do a regular jump over. This area is a little bit more tricky. Sometimes I can get through without getting hurt. Other times I just kind of don't line it up correctly and I take damage. But if you crouch through that way, you should be fine. We're just going to jump over. got hit by something there. I'm not sure what it was. I guess it was the top of this trap. Oh. Okay, so that's not too bad. So you're going to crouch and then jump. Seems like there. It's kind of weird. And then there's a tripwire right there. Watch out for that one. And then there's a tripwire, then a trap. So it's kind of hard to jump. But if you kind of 
stand sideways and strafe jump over it. You can usually do it. And crouch. And then the last tripwire. There. Okay, and this is what we were looking for. So we have our first blueprint for the advanced headlight, the mother load key, and a note. So let's follow the G. We better get over there. Right, so now that we have the mother low key, we can swim down and get into this door that was previously inaccessible to us. We'll catch our breath here if you need to, and we'll use the key. Going down. Yeah, with that section, just basically just keep swimming. If you see uh, an open area that goes down, just follow it. it. Should take you here, and this should be the boss. So it looks like our flippers and our, our tank are good. So let's get our oxygen up. So if he hits you, it's going to do a little bit of damage, maybe more if you're playing on a higher difficulty. But you, what you'll want to do is just position yourself right next to the pillars. And then when you see him kind of wind up and kind of lean back like he's about to pounce on you, you'll want to hide behind the pillar at that point. So let's see. If you do it too soon, he'll just kind of like try to line up again. So let him line up right there, then move behind it, then he'll break the pillar. So once it's broken, we're going to swim down and grab one of these barrels and toss it inside here. And then once it's inside here, we're going to do the same thing, but oxygen's a little bit low, so let's refill it. Wow, so that's really lucky. So I just happened to line it up as I was refilling my oxygen. It's usually not that easy. But that's best case scenario. So that opened up another level up top here. So we're going to swim up. And we're going to do the same thing, but it's going to increase in difficulty every time we go up. So with this pillar... Wow, he missed me. With this pillar, he's got the, we're going to have to have him hit it twice. Boom. Should probably get some oxygen here. Line them up. Boom. So now this thing's ready to be blown up. So same as that process, except we had him hit it twice before we threw the barrel in. And then the next, we'll have one more level of this to do. And that'll be the same exact thing, except we'll, he'll have to hit it three times. And the area on the column here will be a little bit smaller, so it'll be more difficult. But let me actually get some oxygen, then we'll swim up. Ow. That was a cheap shot. Where is he? Okay, that's one. Just trying to find where the closest oxygen place is.
Perfect. Where is he? Okay. Okay, one more try. Yeah, see, if you, don't, if you don't give him enough space for him to see you, he won't line up the shot like that. So now we have the space for the explosive barrel. I think I dropped one over here. So we can throw that in. Where is he? So let's give him an open, uh, open shot and then move behind the... There we go. Now he's dead. And if you harvest them, you can get like a whole bunch of shark meat. Now that we got rid of that shark, we can go up here and uh, finish up this level. So let's go up the escalator. And in here we'll have our second blueprint for the wind turbine as well as the crane key. So we're gonna go back to the area where we parked our raft before, and we're gonna climb up that crane and use this crane key real quick. But first, let's get out of here. So we came in those two. Let's go this way. Okay, so let's open up these double doors. This is where we were before. That's where we uh, solved that puzzle. So now we can actually go back to our raft. Just be careful of the shark. Like I mentioned before, just make sure you bring the zipline tool. Okay, so here we are. We're at the top of the crane. We're gonna open this door and use the crane key and then pull this lever. And let's see what that does. All right, so we just busted a hole in the top of that building. So in just a second, we're gonna take the zip line down, but first there is a blueprint up here. So if we climb up this ladder, go to our left, We will have a blueprint for the electric grill and then a note. I believe they just added that electric grill in with the recent update. Okay, so now we can take the zip line down. Jump at the end there. And then we're gonna kind of just uh, gracefully fall down and then you want to check out this desk. This is going to have the advanced battery blueprint as well as the note for the next location. So it'll give us the location of temperance. So we'll go there next. That's pretty much all we have to do as far as this level goes. But let me just show you real quick how to get out of here. So we'll go down, jump into the water, and then through these double doors, we'll lead you out. So that's a crane up there. That's going to do it for this guide. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.